taking place for the 10th time. Joining me to discuss the Santa Run is one of the event founders, Judge David Wright. Good morning to you. Welcome back to North Dakota Today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Seems like you were just here like a year ago to talk about <laughs> I, this. I was just here about a year ago. I got to ask you, and we'll get into the background and a little history about this and what people can expect. We'll go over some of the some of the things that you brought here that that people will get when they sign up. Does it matter to you whether there's snow on the ground or not? I just mean that because last year we had all that snow, and so far this year, nothing. Well, you know, it adds to the atmosphere sure. to have snow. Uh, first year we did it, it was 40 degrees. We didn't have any snow. Wow. And, and, and actually, if we would have had a lot of snow, we might not still be doing it 10 years later. But because it was so nice, I think we had mm -hmm. such a good turnout, and people wanted to keep doing it. We hope there's snow this year yeah. because one of the special things we're doing, it's our 10th anniversary stand around, and so we wanted to make it special. So we, we're having Team North Dakota from Fargo, who are the national champion snow sculpting team, yep. they're, they're coming to do a, a snow sculpture for us this year. Okay, so let's pretend there is no snow, then what? Do you have a backup plan? We have a backup plan. Okay. We uh, uh, have a, a team that's coordinating with Huff Hills, Andy, I was Andy, say, Andy Beck, there you go. Uh, to, to make man-made snow and, and deliver it in. Uh, yeah, the, the Team North Dakota builds this huge form and, and, and uh, packs it with snow and then takes the form away. and. and takes about a week to make the sculpture, and, and so it, they, they've given us an artist's rendition of it. And I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the beginning. You and your wife, Ann, decided to start this Santa run. What was the idea behind it, and how did it all connect to addiction? Well, I'm a district court judge, and, and so uh, I see people in my courtroom all the time yeah. that have addiction issues, and I see them over and over again because okay. that's the nature of addiction. And so. Um, I was a runner, or still am a runner, and, and I started getting articles about uh, different uh, institutions uh, and parole uh, uh, organizations that were using running programs to try to help people stay uh, clean and sober and, and law-abiding. And I thought, well, why not, go, not try that here? So in 2014, we started a running group called Runners Against Destructive Decisions, uh, RAD, uh, for people in recovery from addiction. and, and uh, we started that in 2014, and then we thought, well, you know, it'd be nice if we could uh, could create some awareness of addiction issues and raise some money, maybe, to, to help help fund our running program. And so we started the Santa Run in 2014 too. Uh, okay. Did you ever think it would grow the way it has, or have as a st the sustainability that it's had 10 years now? Yeah, we, we really didn't yeah, had no think idea. about right. that at that yeah. time. You know, we started. We think, oh, if we get 50 runners or 75 mm -hmm. runners, that that'd be great. Well, again, it was 40 degrees, which helps because we do this the second Saturday in December, and sometimes it can be pretty chilly. It was 40 degrees. So we had 350 runners instead of the 50, we yeah. thought. And we had a lot of very positive feedback, and, and so we, we've been doing it ever since. Sounds great. All right, let's run through some of these things. Sign-ups are still available, obviously, and you're, you're encouraging people to get on there and, and uh, take part in this run. Yeah, BismarckSantaRun.com. You can get on the, on the website and register. Uh, when you register, uh, you're invited to our Friday evening program. We do a Friday evening program to raise awareness, to thank our sponsors, to, and to provide an inspirational message to, to, to people in recovery. Mm -hmm. This year, we're, we're partnering with uh, the Bismarck Cancer Center. We're showing a, a very uh, moving and, and inspirational film called uh, uh, Run, um, it's, uh, The Courage to Run uh, okay. with Chip Gaines Chip and, and uh, Gabe Grunewald. Gabe Grunewald's a, a runner from uh, Minnesota developed a rare form of cancer while she was running at the University of Minnesota, married her husband Justin Grunewald. But the film it talks about how she inspires uh, Chip Gaines to, to run a marathon while she's undergoing cancer treatments. And so, uh, so we've involved the Cancer Center because uh, of the film and also to broaden our um, outreach a, a little bit. If we all we're talking about is to the recovery community, we're kind of preaching to the choir. Right. So, so we wanted to get more people involved, and, and, and so that's, that's part of the reason we're involved with the up. cancer center as well. You saw some of those pictures. What a great, I mean, everybody decked out in their red and green. It just looks like a very festive thing. And, and uh, here's your running suit and here's your hat. And then yeah. you get a little gift bag as well. Yeah, every, everybody uh, who registers get, gets, uh, this is the race packet. Um, there you go. It, uh, and, and so, yeah, included with your registration, everyone uh, runs in the Santa suit. Uh, so the Santa suit's in your race packet. Uh, this year, because it, it's the, uh, uh, 10th anniversary, instead of doing medals, we're doing commemorative mugs. It has the Santa Run logo on one side and the, the Brave Like Gabe uh, logo uh, running on Hope on the other side. And so it'll be filled with, with uh, hot chocolate and candy canes, some goodies. Um, to keep our, our registration costs down, we didn't include a shirt or a hat this year, but we're making them available at cost. Uh, so you can get a Santa Run beanie when you register. We'll have some available 
uh, at, the, at the run to, if you want to purchase them on site. We also have a 10th anniversary shirt. It, it's a long sleeve hooded tee this year oh. that, that we're making available for cost. You can uh, pre-register and, and order that or, or we'll have some available to sell at, at the event as well. You know, Judge, I find it so interesting that all the things that you see coming through your courtroom, instead of just being on the punitive side, you looked at it and said, how can we help to you know, not eliminate, but slow down the traffic, especially of repeat people coming through here. And, and you looked for a solution that, that would help them in the long course of their life rather than, like I say, in a, in a punishment way. Yeah, it, you know, addictions, uh, it, it, it's a, a disease, basically. You're talking to one. Yeah, and, and so we, we would see them in the court when you talk about punishment. You know, if, if the they, addiction often leads to crime, and, and mm -hmm. crime brings them into court and then court leads them to jail and then they uh, they either go to jail or they get eventually they get put on probation they, you know, they get a, an evaluation and treatment and they go right back in the same environment exactly. they were in when they got yep. in trouble so we needed to change some things and so running it's a healthy thing it helps you not only physically it helps you mentally and emotionally uh, we run uh, rad runs three times a week we offer we want people to run or walk three times a week either on their own or with a group so we have offer three group runs Saturdays our biggest group run um, we have coffee and, and, and treats afterwards, and I think the socialization is a very important sure part is. of that. Yep. Um, so it, it, it's, it's just a, it's a good thing. It, it's, it's something almost everyone can do. And, and so we've had people that have started at the beginning. They're still running with us. Every year we have a few people that pick up and keep on. We have a lot of people in and out of the program, but uh, I found it, it, it's a very good and beneficial thing. December 9th, Santa Run, BismarckSantaRun.com, right? BismarckSantaRun.com. BismarckSantaRun.com. Get signed up, uh, help a good cause, and, and get out there and enjoy, enjoy a run with some of your fellow runners. All right, Judge David Wright, thank you so much for coming in, and we wish you all the best this year. Yeah, thank you, Wayne. All right, we're taking a break. We're back with more North Dakota Today right after this.